something from someone who has nothing to steal. That's real. What's going on guys? It's me, Bubba213, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now, as I said in the last Borderlands 3 skill tree update or review, spotlight, whatever you want to call it, Zane will be our next character. So Zane is the operative of this group of Vault Hunters. Uh, we're going to move down and check out his skill tree today. Uh, he has three skill trees as normal. So we'll see. Let's get a better center on this. Huh? There we go. All right. So what I know about Zane already, he got some clones and, you know, some other cool abilities. I know he got clones and they got a drone. And yeah, so let's get into his first skill tree, which is double agent. The action skill of this tree is called Digiclone. Spawn a Digiclone of Zane. This clone stays in place, but distracts the um, enemies and fires at enemies. Pressing F for G while the clone is active causes Zane to clone. Oh, Zane and the clone to swap places. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure what the controls will be on um, console, which I play on. So we'll see when we get the game. But that sounds pretty cool already. Probably um, help move a lot faster too, depending on how many times you can spawn that clone. But yeah, we'll see. All right, his first ability is called Synchronicity. I think that's the name of it. Yeah. It's a passive ability. Whenever uh, one or more Zane's action skills are active, he can, his gun damage increases for every action skill. Not bad. Um... I have no idea how to pronounce that, so we're just going to read the ability. Zane and his Digiclone have increased magazine size. Now, does Zane's Digiclone have the same damage he does? Because if that's the case, that's cool. All right, next he has a skill called Borrow Time. Uh, Zane increases action skill duration for every action skill, which is pretty good. Next, he has Donnie Brook. Um, it's a passive ability. It's a kill skill. Whenever Zane kills an enemy, his um, he and his Digiclone have increased gun damage and health regeneration for a few seconds. Next, he has Fractile Frags, uh, which is a passive ability. The Digiclone will throw a copy of Zane's current grenade mod when it's first activated. If the Digiclone is killed, it drops a free grenade. Okay. Uh, another, it seems to have... Uh, kill skill with it killing an enemy while the digiclone is active gives the clone a chance to throw another grenade And the grenade chance is 30% this skill only has one tick so it stays 30% All right moving on duct tape mod. Uh, it's another passive ability the first shot fired from Zane's gun has uh, From Zane's gun has a chance to fire a grenade this skill has a short cooldown Next, we have Quick Breather. Whenever Zane swaps places with the clone, his shield immediately get, begins recharging. Next, we have Pocket Full of Grenades. A kill skill after grenade kills an um grenade. After Zane kills an enemy, he gains grenade regeneration for a few seconds. He has a lot of grenades. It's pretty cool. Uh, next, we have Old U. Uh, press an F or G while in a fight for your life. Uh, if a Digiclone is active, will destroy the clone and immediately grant second win with full health. That's I like that. It's cool. I uh, keep him alive a lot more. So that means his Digiclone won't go down when he goes down. It sounds like it's a just the um, same version of him. I wonder how the AI functions on that would be. Next, we have Supersonic Man. Whenever one or more Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased movement speed for each action skill up. Next, we have Like a Ghost, which is a passive ability. Zane and his Digiclone have a chance to ignore bullets. This chance is increased for every activated uh, for a few seconds after activating an action skill. This effect stacks. Okay. He seems to have a lot of survival. Uh, he has another skill, passive ability. It's called Boom Enhance. Whenever Zane summons his Digiclone, it consumes up to three grenades. For every grenade consumed, the Digiclone gains... Increased grenade damage, maximum health, fire rate, reload speed, and digiclone duration. Okay. Next, we have Trick of the Light. Zane deals bonus shock damage to enemies that aren't targeting him. And finally, we have Double Barrel. The, digi uh, the clone is equipped with a copy of Zane's current weapon when active. Swapping places with the clone causes Zane and his clone to gain increased gun damage. Zane seems uh, double agent skill tree seems pretty good. All right, let's check the augments on it. Uh, binary system. Whenever Zane swaps places with his clone, a, choir, oh, a crowd nova is triggered around Zane and his clone. Basically, 
uh, um, a frost explosion. Next, we have the hell. Okay, I don't know what that is, so we're just gonna read what it does. Okay, it's another action skill augment. Whenever Zane's clone take damage, Zane shield is in um, is restored for a person that damage. Next, we have Doppelbanger hold down, holding down F or G at the end of an action skill. Um, when Zane's action skills ended, the clone explodes, dealing splash damage to nearby enemies. The more action skill time remaining, the greater the damage. Nice. Next, we have which one is real? Another action skill augment. Enemies are more likely to target the clone for a few seconds after it's summoned and after switching places. All right, and finally, the last augment of the double agent tree digital distribution. If Zane takes health damage from a uh, while a clone is active, a portion of that damage is shared to clone instead. This tree seems to give that clone a lot of damage and Zane a lot of survivability. I like it. All right, moving on to his Hitman uh, skill tree. This is the one I think with the drone. Check me behind this picture up here. All right, so his action skill lit tree is Sentinel, which is the drone I was talking about. Uh, send it into battle. Uh, automated Sentinel drone that continuously fires throughout the environment and attacks enemies with its machine guns. So it sounds like it had more than one. Next, we have Violent Speed. It's a kill skill. After Zane kills an enemy, um, after killing an enemy, Zane gains movement speed for a few seconds. Next up, we have Cold Boar. Zane, uh, Zane gains increased weapon swap speed. After, uh, the next shot fired after swapping rushes will deal bonus crowd damage. Next, we have Violent Movement. Zane's gun damage is increased for a while. Increased while moving. The quicker he moves, the greater the gun damage bonus. And it's 4% at def um, default walk speed. So up to 5, probably like 20%. All right, moving on to Cold Hand. Zane gains increased reload speed. Also, it gains a kill skill. After killing an enemy, Zane's reload speed is increased for a few seconds. Nice. All right, drone delivery. Drone will occasionally drop free grenades based on Zane's current grenade mod while attacking enemies. Zane's grenades are really good. <laughs> so, from what I'm gaining from these characters, it seems like Zane is more of a... Uh, forward playing character he has a lot of grenade muds flack is a sniper or does really well with snipers and Moe's does well with a lot of bullets um <laughs> next we have salvation it's a kill skill after zane kill um after killing enemy zane's weapons gains life still for a few seconds next up we have death follows close after all zane's kill skills and well all of zane's kill skills gain an increased effect and duration next up we have violent violence Violent. Yeah, that's right. Another kill skill. After Zane kills an enemy, he gains increased fire rate for a few seconds. Next, we have playing dirty. Another kill skill. He has a lot of kill skills in this tree. After killing an enemy, Zane's next five shots have a chance to fire an extra projectile. Good misfortune. Another kill skill. After killing an enemy, Zane's action skill duration. Uh, killing an enemy increases Zane's action skill duration. This skill has diminishing returns. Okay. And seeing red after um, activating an action skill automatically activates all of Zane's kill skills. Uh, Sentinel converts his primary weapon to crowd damage or ice uh, as winner's drone. Next, we have bad dose. Sentinel occasionally shoots out a beam of radiation that weakens enemies and buffs Zane. For every weakened enemy, Zane's movement speed and fire rates are increased. Weakened enemies have decreased movement speed and attack speed. All right. Next, we have Boom's Day. Boom's Day. Yeah. Sentinel adds a rocket pod to his primary weapon, allowing it to shoot rockets as well as machine guns. Next up, two more. Static field. Oh, this is Sentinel emits a static field that sends a shock beam near enemies, draining their shields and replenishing Zanes. And finally, all mighty ordnance. Holding down the F or G key while Sentinel is deployed, it paints a target area. The Sentinel will fire a missile barrage in that area. If an enemy is killed, Sentinel's duration is reset. This can be used once per action skill use. So every time, it only can be used once um, every time you deploy Sentinel. All right, so Hitman Tree seems pretty cool. A lot of kill skills in here, lots of kill skills. All right, moving on to his final tree undercover. This is the barrier one, yeah. I know Zane has a barrier too. In the, in the what's the name, in the trailer, he used all three of them together. I doubt you can do that. You probably use one and the other. 
let's see what this barrier does all right so uh his action skill for his undercover tree is called barrier De uh, drop a deployable barrier that blocks incoming projectiles zane and his allies can shoot through the barrier dealing increased gun damage while F, uh, pressing F or G while the barrier is active, it picks up and holds the barrier, but its size is, and bonuses are decreased. All right, moving on to Adrenaline. It's a passive ability. Zane in, gains increased action skill speed cooldown rate. This bonus is based on the amount of shield he has. The more percent full, the more greater the bonus. The greater the bonus, not more greater. Next, we have Healthy Stock. Uh, Zane gains increased maximum shield capacity. This seems like a very survival-based, what's the name? Um, tree. Zane gain, uh, this one is ready for action. Zane gains increased shield recharge rate and shield recharge delay. Next, we have Rain Freeze. Whenever Zane scores a critical hit on an enemy, there's a chance that they will be slowed. The effect stacks until the target is frozen with a 4% slow chance that probably goes up to 20 or 25. All right, moving up, stiff, uh, stiff upper lip. Whenever Zane is damaged, he gains damage resistance against that damage type. Up to, let's say 18%, 18-20%, something like that. Um, rise to the occasion, passive ability, Zane gains um, health regeneration. The lower his shield is, the greater the health regeneration is. Next, we have Confident Competence. Whenever Zane's shields are active, he gains increased gun damage and accuracy. This bonus is based on the amount of shields he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus. Now, something now I'm looking at these, something I am worried, not worried about, but thinking about. Do you have to purchase the action skill to get the bonuses, like to start the tree? I hope that's not the case, but if it is, then... I don't know, but if you can pick an action skill, like let's say if I want Barry and then want to spec into the other two trees, that'd be cool. That's what I'm hoping they do, but I don't know. Because the augment, see, one more thing that make me not uh, think against that is the augments are in this specific tree, so you wouldn't be able to get any augments for that, so you may have to spec into this. Okay. What was that? I did this. Okay, we're down here. Um, really expensive jacket. Elemental status is applied to Zane have reduced duration. Next, we have best serve cold. It's a kill skill. Whenever Zane kills the enemy, they have, they create a crowd nova dealing damage to all enemies nearby. This skill has a short cooldown. One of the cooldown goes lower than that because it's at three seconds down.